Well, if you're watching this video, you're probably looking for a way to uh, make a homemade pellet trap. This is what I came up with. I went to the hardware store and I found these tubs that have a drop down front. And what I did was I built a little box inside out of particle board and then lined it with some carpeting. In the back, I put uh, three to four layers of an indoor-outdoor carpet with a heavy rubber backing. And then you could put a piece of uh, half-inch particle board behind that for extra insurance. Then what I did was I drilled some holes in the box and I put a rod, took some spoons that I got from the dollar store, curled them, used a washer on either side of the spoon, and I used a piece of PVC in between to keep them spaced. Now, what I did in the beginning was I, I moved the, um, or had the rod with the spoons further in the front of the box, and that caused a little bit of a problem. Uh, the pellets would hit the spoon, flatten out, and the spoon would throw the pellet back out at me. That's not a good thing. So what I did is I put them further in the back of the box, and that took care of most of that problem. Um, then, for the 1% that was left, I took a piece of foam board and then just put it in like this and then the pellets would hit the back of it and it would stop them. So that worked really well. From a lower vantage point you'll be able to see the target and you'll be able to shoot them. Then I took another one of the box, the same thing, and I basically just made a static target by taking off the door and putting a piece of uh, cardboard in front and taping a target. Again, we've got three to four layers of an indoor outdoor uh, piece of carpet in the back. They're carpet squares that I trimmed down. They have a heavy rubber backing and then I basically we only go through three and stop at the fourth but I put a piece of um, half inch particle board behind that just for extra insurance. So that's my idea. I will post another um, video showing, the, uh, showing me shooting the reactive targets. All right, hope this helps. Thank you very much for watching. And that's my reactive target in action.